Hello, B. So this is just a quick video on what I'm going to be using to mark my queens. First off is this queen catcher. Now, I saw this on Instagram. My friend Bobby McBee's down in Georgia had one of these. I asked him where he got it, and uh, I went and got one. So this is a one-handed queen catcher. You'll see how this works. I'm also using the paint pens. These are the Posca paint pens. These are Japanese pens. Now, you can get your pens at one of those bee suppliers for five or six dollars a pen. <laughs> or you can order this eight pack of pens for fifteen dollars. I'll have the link down in the description. There's a couple colors you won't need. There's black and pink and dark blue which you won't need but I'm using all these other colors and uh, I went ahead and right on the cap wrote down the year for the queens. You have to mark your queens according to the year they were born or hatched. So if the year ends in a one or a six, you get a white dot, etc., etc. So I used the black marker to mark my markers. So I, I wouldn't have to, you know, have to remember that. But anyway, so markers are less than $2 each if you use the link below. Here's our queen. I'm going to grab her. So our queen is right here. I'm going to grab her in this. So she's right in here. So you catch her in here very easily and you very gently move it up until she's at the top. Then you take your pen Here's your marked queen. And then to let her out, you just slide this thing back. There she goes. Mm -hmm. 